What's up, divas? And divas. So today's video is going to be another wig by MissFi.com. So in case you guys are not aware of who they are, they are fairly new. You can definitely check out a couple other videos on my channel. One featuring my daughter, which is kind of like a transformation. So as I was saying, this is by Miss Vi. You do get some really cute stuff with this um, packaging. First of all, their box is like this. It's white. And you do get like, I mean, I don't know. I've gotten like four or five wigs so far probably like five or six and each one of them had like this little christmas packaging in it so lately each wig that i've been getting have these in them i'm not sure if all the packages are going to come like this but mine's have so i've gotten like five of these already and christmas is over but so what i still like to get stuff so it does come with some elastic inside of it which is great um it does also come with a stocking cap and a pair of lashes and it comes with one of these little reindeer like headbands so i got Four brown ones and a red one. The first one I got was red, and I thought it was so cute. So, yes, I'll be wearing the thing. It's really cute. But let me tell y'all, I wear it because it be keeping my edges and my stuff slipped down. So, and it's really thick. It's like um, a nice kind of like, not velourish kind of like, but it's just very soft and plush. So, I thought it is so cute. My face is like really hurting right now. Okay, like seriously. I'm about to get another root canal. It's coming Tuesday. You know, I've been working on my teeth. So, I got a, a, a root canal coming up there in the back molder. And it is killing me right now because my tooth is hurting. So, it's hurting all in here. But if I tell you I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. So. That is me. So I have a 20 inch Yaki lace front, number two, color number two. This is a light Yaki, so it's very, very soft. It's not like a kinky. I love the light Yaki. This is a number two, and it's probably showing up on camera as very dark, but it's actually a number two. It is a pre-plucked hairline, so it's going to look really natural. It's 20 inches. And the thing I like, too, also about their wigs is they have, like, the ear tabs on the side, okay? So that makes your wig just lay a lot flusher and flatter to your head. So therefore, you may not need to glue it down or use any type of adhesive, which is amazing. So also, it does have the comb and the adjustable strap in the nape area and the stretch cap in the middle. So with their parting, you do get a nice amount of parting. So you would probably think like this is damn near almost like a full lace wig except for on the sides. It also has the comb here in the middle. So being that I didn't bleach the knots on this unit um, this is just straight out of the package there are some things that you can definitely do to your wig just to make it look as natural as possible a lot more flush to your head and just make it look more wearable the first thing that you can do if you are not bleaching the knots some people do like to tweeze a part into it just kind of like open the parting up so I will be showing that to you guys in a moment but what I like to do also is I like to put like some type of pressed powder on the back end just to make it look as natural as possible so what you want to do is with that is I would suggest getting like a pressed powder that is more or less closest to your tone your skin tone so what I'm going to use is this Too Faced and you want to use a brush that's very dense this one is really dense I love this brush And you don't have to put it on the entire cap, it's up to you, but for me, I'm just going to show you that for the video's sake. Okay, so now that I have this pressed powder into the lace, I'm going to use a hairspray just to adhere it, just kind of make it stick a little bit better versus it rubbing off on my head. So I'm just going to spray lightly. And then I'm going to go back in with that same brush and I'm just going to just pack a little bit more. And then once again, I'm going to use a different hairspray. This is Pump It Up. This is like really like some strong hairspray. And I'm just going to let it dry for a minute. I see it's like on there really good. Now that I've got that done, I'm just going to let it dry for just a second. What I would suggest is wearing a stocking cap that is really, really like more skin toned that will match. So I'll wear a wig cap that's like this color. And this is still even a little bit off because it's very yellowish. So it doesn't match me too much. This may work for me as well. 
So what I also do is I also take the brush and just a little bit of makeup on my wig cap. This is also going to help with the color blend. And I'll just put it in the areas of where I feel like I'm going to actually put my party. Put the wig on. People have a preference. Some people put on their wigs from the front to the back. I like mine to be from the back to the front because it just makes life so much easier for me. So I have pulled it down right and I'm resting it right on my ear, my hairline. The air tabs make life so much easier because it does lay a lot flatter. And you do get a lot of parting for this lace frontal which is amazing. And this is just from the makeup alone by just putting it inside of your cap which makes it so natural and realistic looking. Then what I'm going to do, just to make it a little bit more open, I'm just going to take a little bit of my setting lotion. You can use styling mousse or just something wet. and just Take your comb, kind of like rub it into the hair. Take your curling iron, okay? did notice that back here there is a little bit more knots okay so because it's the knots are just a little bit you know closer towards the back this is where I do use my tweezers so I'm just going to take a little bit you want to be really careful with this Now, as far as the baby hairs, I don't really like a lot of baby hairs, especially if they're this long. Okay, love, so we're going to make some of these baby hairs pop. We're going to do just a little bit of baby hairs in the front. You know, try to make it look as natural as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and use my um, Lotta Body uh, Lotion, and I'm just going to push some of the hairs up and some of them down. I don't want to cover the entire hair with gel, but I'm going to be using some of my Gorilla Snot Gel, and I'm just going to kind of like slick the baby hairs up there. And also, I'm going to go into my Pump It Up hairspray, put a little bit on the hair as well on the toothbrush. The Pump It Up hairspray acts as if it's a glue already. It's a very great hairspray. I love it. If you guys have never used Pump It Up, you definitely have to give it a try. Um, actually, the wig stuck down, so I didn't even have any gel on it like that, but the Pump It Up hairspray actually allowed the wig to adhere to my actual hairline, which was great because, you know, I didn't have to worry about it slipping back. But the baby hairs in it are really nice. This wig is really pretty. I do like the texture of it and just the ease and the quality of it. As you guys see, I'm just adding just a little bit of baby hairs. I'm not even going to, you know, cut anymore. Now for the front part, I did take my press powder and I did just apply it into just a little space so that way it just blends seamlessly and it looks just like my own natural skin so yes you guys you definitely have to check out uh, MissBy.com These are the things that I do to my lace wigs. Most of the time, if I'm really, really like wanting to make sure that it looks like drastically realistic, then I do do the steps that I take. It makes it a lot easier. Some people do like to bleach their knots. That's fine. You can do so. Sometimes I do that, but you have to be really careful because sometimes it can come out looking brassy. So what I'm really not trying to do as much, I do like to just basically just put the foundation or the pressed powder, not the foundation, but depth, the pressed powder on the inside and I then just go ahead and you know use hairspray and so forth so this makes it 
like look a lot more neutral plus you do want to open up that parting with a little bit of tweezing the easiest way to tweeze any of your wigs to me in my opinion but you know everybody's entitled to their opinion is to do it on a mannequin head okay I like to sometimes do it mostly when it's wet um, after I've washed it because the hair lays a lot flatter you can put a better part in it and also the hair does come out of the closure or the frontal or the wig in general a lot easier so it all depends on what's easiest for you but for me most of the time I will put the part in the wig when it's wet after I've washed it but sometimes I don't wash them I'll just put them on like right now this is straight out the box and it looks really natural this is supposed to be 20 inches okay honeys in no way looks like it's only 20 inches okay this is like really really long for 20 inches I, I'm not complaining because I absolutely love Miss Bai's hair it's a very full and it's not all dense in the front which is great because I don't really like it too full like too packed in the front so that's a plus. Um, the pre-plucked hairline is amazing. It just kind of like melts into your skin. But there are some things that you may need to do to it to just, you know, make it look more blendable. Like use your pressed powder and a small brush. Oh. So as for the hair, um, it did not shed as I was using or just doing my review. But, you know, I did tweeze some of it out so some of the hairs did come out when I tweezed it it's very long and it's very soft it is a light yakky I do believe this is like 150 in density I'll definitely link the specs below for the parting on the side you always know that you get less parting on the sides so this is like a lot of lace to be parting on the side and plus in the middle you'll definitely get like loads of parting space in the middle but I like to wear the hair straight when it's like light yakky or kinky hair I definitely do wear them straight so it does curl really really nicely as you guys can see right here, it does hold a curl really well. Okay, and since I'm going to put a curl right here, we're going to put one here. guys the hair is really really soft I do love light yakky hair as you guys see it curls super easy and I also do have a blonde one that I will be showcasing very very soon which is also by Miss Bai and let me tell you the color blonde is amazing like that 27 is definitely hitting like normally when I get a 27 from any company with company it does not look that great but this one mmm so if you're definitely looking for a 27 Make sure you check the video out to come soon. I love you guys. Let me know what you think about this unit. Stay Diva and Divalicious. All of the information for this light yaki will be posted below for you guys. And as well as that, make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up because you guys love me as much as I love you guys. And I'll see you in a soon-to-come video.